The African Union has not shied away in pushing for the deferral of the cases facing President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto at the Hegbust International Criminal Court. It is this trial the African Union heads of state, who convened in Ethiopia a few weeks ago, want deferred. Apart from citing the region's stability and insecurity threats, then it has also took issue with ICC, saying it was only targeting Africa. We have also agreed that Kenya should send a letter to the United Nations Security Council requesting for deferral in conformity with Article 16 of the Rome Statute of the proceedings against the President and Deputy President of Kenya that would be endorsed by, the, by all African state parties. A preposition from a U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs, Dr. Jedi Fraser, concurs with. It's about changing the international system so it treats everybody fairly and equally. So I think the African Union should be making its judgments as it is in light of Africa's place in the world today and trying to create an international system that is responsive to all of the nations and all of the people, not just an instrument of Western uh, power. And so top on the agenda of the 15-member United Nations Security Council that is set to convene in New York later today will be to look into the request filed by AU to have Kenya's cases deferred. The council is composed of five permanent members and ten non-permanent members. The five permanent members include China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The ten non-permanent members include Argentina, Australia, Azerbaijan, Guatemala, and Luxembourg. Others are Morocco, Rwanda, Republic of Korea, Pakistan, and Togo. For the AU deferral request to sail through, nine members have to vote in its favor. But the situation becomes complex when it comes to how the five permanent members of the council, which have got veto powers, cast their vote. Should any of the five members, namely the US, the UK, Russia, China, Britain and France vote against the EU request, the deferral will be deemed to have been defeated. I think um, of the five members, China and Russia will vote for, um, for um, um, in support. in support, in support of the AU petition, um, certainly they'll support uh, a vote in support. I think the United States would often just try to get out of it and abstain. Um, and I think France and the UK have been some of the countries that have manipulated the court. Uh, and so I, I think it's going to be very difficult. Uh, but I think they have a choice. Um, they either accept the AU's petition and save the court for another day or they lose the court. For now, though, it remains to be seen how things will unfold from the New York. Martin Manje for Channel One News Hour.